In this episode, we're going to talk about Tokyo Avengers Christmas Showdown Arc Episode 8. Why didn't I hear that? <laughs> I know. Keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Let's just say now. Uh, another vintage Tokyo Avengers episode. But uh, if you're more than willing to get into the details with me, like I said a while ago, keep on watching. So, first order of business, the thumbnail. It's nothing short of classic, guys. Etong! Uh, etong dumbfounded to forget that Inichi. After he takes a beating, he somehow finds a way to, um, to, to get back at his opponent. And, mala si Taiju, okay? <laughs> He, he just had to, he just became another one of Takemichi's victims in that, in that aspect. Which, yep, literally brought him to his knees. Okay? Classic moment in this episode. So with that out of the way guys, let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Base! Forgive me if I, um, if I'm raising my voice right now because I don't have my sound card right now. Uh, we're, we're having technical difficulties. But anyway. The pacing of this episode, I'm totally um speechless. Vintage Tokyo Revengers, especially during the fight sequences. We dapat lang talaga bumili sa pacing sa ah. Dapat talaga mag intense ang pacing. Okay? Na naglalabo-labo nga eh. So natural. It's the kind of pacing flat out that only Tokyo Revengers would uh, would deliver. Through the pacing, you would absolutely uh, feel for what everyone was saying here, right? It's not just Takemichi, not just even uh, Taiju, not even just uh, Hakai, but for everybody in, but for everybody who gave a line in this episode. Floloman, first gear ship was of course the um, the sequence that gave us our thumbnail. Takinichi finally lands a solid punch on Taiju. No brainer there, folks. Kasi, well, you can say na figuratively this triggered the episode. Second gear shift was when Hakai decided to fight Taiju himself. Absolute character development gear shift there, guys. Kasi, all throughout, um, all throughout the, um, since episode 5 or so, Ta Taiju, Hakai has been a, um, a helpless witness in all of this. But, uh, uh, yeah, the kids had enough. It's quite a, de it's quite a character development gearship for, um, for this particular character. And to think the minor na midway character, so to speak, I say, he's not uh, he's not so major and he's, he's not so minor either. Final gear shift is of course the final scene. Ang pagkakaintada ni Mikey. So you can say that this gear shift is a double-edged sword for the next episode. But nonetheless, it's a great setup guys. Kaya, go. That's, what, that's basically what, that's a basic function of gear shifts. Set us up for, uh, for... If not the le if not the next episode for late for later episodes, but in this case for the next episode, tamang tama. Road to the finale na the season two next week. So these three dishes that I saw, guys, bitin, right? Bitin. You need to watch the entire episode para alam niyo kung saan ah. Uh, Saan kumukuha ng hugot ng bawat character sa episode na to? Plotwise! Okay lang ba story sequences eh? Pero, don't get me wrong. May ikili lahat ito. So! Planchado ang plot, guys! You cannot say it's a totally clean plot. Kasi may mga backstories, may mga backstory sequences. And of course, Yung uh, side story sequence for you na talagang pinuntahan sila nila, nila Mikey at Draken to where they are kasi nagkaroon ng in the previous episode kasi nagkaroon ng kutub si Mikey. So, 
But, nonetheless, hindi basta-basta nang isiningit yung mga backstories na yun. Okay? Hindi, not during, uh, not during the fight sequences. No, nope, that's a total no-no. Okay? For an anime, uh, for an anime as violent as Tokyo Revengers, that's a total no-no. Kaya, well ironed out ang plot ng episode na to. So, based flow and plot, what can I say? We all came together for this episode. So, Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown Art Episode 8 as a no-brainer, folks. Two times up! Like I said just a while ago, if you um, if you are if you've seen the exclusive version of this uh, of this review, will Mikey help them out in uh, in in in, uh, in beating Taiju, or well, or much worse, hindi siya makikialam as punishment for uh, for breaking the truce. Okay? Pero, tingin, pero tingin ko, he won't do the, la he won't do the latter eh. Kasi, he's not much of a gang politician si Mikey. Okay? Ang gang politician dito, hands down, si Kisaki. Saan nagmani over ng lahat ng to eh. Alright? He's a certified gang politician. Pero, Mikey is yet to, is yet to see that, we've yet to see that side of Mikey eh. So, I doubt kung yun ang, yun, ang, uh, yun ang gagawin niya sa next episode. But that's just speculation, guys. Let's just wait for the next episode to drop. Okay? In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this, ep on the, this episode. Where? On this uh, on this playlist. Okay? Watch the other reviews on this playlist. Sensya na, guys, ha? Wala tayong sound card. Okay?